Hey guys, what's up? <clears throat> I wanted to show you this cool new thing called uh, Octo Screen, and it's actually a fork based on the original Octo Print TFT. Power in there. This is a uh, Raspberry Pi 3B Plus with the official Raspberry 7 inch touchscreen. Um, pretty cool. Um, in the past, I've actually used the OctoPrint uh, Touch UI, and the Touch UI is browser based, whereas this communicates directly via X Window system directly with the OctoPrint. So it, it actually boots right automatically into it, but it's it's really awesome for touchscreen and. I partially got it working so far with my Raspberry Pi 4 with my uh, 3.5 inch touchscreen. But yeah, take a look at this. Yeah, you know I mean, from here you can go your network. Yeah, you know I mean, it's, it's pretty pretty awesome. Back um, configuration, network. You know, okay. System. And look at it. it, it the main thing is it's so much more responsive than the original Touch UI on here that it's it's crazy. Home, home all. But yeah, awesome little thing here. Yeah, just so much more responsive. It's made by a guy, uh, I'll put a link where you can get this thing, but it's, it was super easy to install. You know, once you install OctoPrint, then you have just a couple lines of code and, it, and it, it's done. Yeah, actions, you can move, extrude, turn the fan on and off, tool changer. Uh, I don't know all of the features yet, but wow, pretty cool. Heat up filament. Multiple tools, you know, if you had multiple fill or extruders. Um, I hope you can see that. You know, the extruder temperature, bed temperature. From here, I actually have files. I can just print files on there. Yeah, the main thing is it's just so much more responsive. Uh, home X. I'm actually running the Trinamic uh, 2209, the stall guard. That's why it's quiet. All right, Homesy, but I don't need that. So, actions. So yeah, I can do everything. I mean, this is just for controlling like Octoprint and some basic settings. Yeah, you know, I still have the original screen for this, just because uh, you know that that actually interfaces directly with Marlin, so you can do uh, baby stabbing and that kind of stuff. But cool. all right, it's back here. So one of the things I wish it actually had, at least I can't find it so far, is being able to see my camera from here, my web camera. So in case I wanted to change the focus on the camera or position, I could see from the screen I wouldn't have to go back to my computer to do it. So that would be the only request I could possibly want in this thing because it's pretty awesome. The offsets pretty cool feature. Uh, I have auto bed leveling, but I wonder if the Z offsets is sort of like a baby Z. Um, something you can control in real time. You know, go up and down. Kind of looks like it would be able to, you know. But, I'll have to try that later on. But, uh, I'll put a link where you can get this. Um, awesome program. Cool.